Is Dare Nefsi taking advantage of the shippers? When the show began to air in early 2015, people began to ship star Marco. But with every new episode a new character, new ships come up, such as Mark of Who, Tom Star, Moon Toffee, Jan Tom, and the list just goes on. But with all the ships, there remains one question in my head. Is shipping actually an advantage to gain more viewers? We all know Star vs. the Forces of Evil for its great plot, great written characters, and the hilarious jokes. But what I keep asking myself is, are the writers actually such big masterminds to actually know that the biggest thing the show most people care about while watching the show is the shipping moments? Are we shippers used to gain viewership for Star vs. the Forces of Evil? There are mixed opinions about this. You could say yes or no. On one hand, I think shippers are not really used to gain viewership. I mean, Disney probably knows that our fandom ships characters together. It was the same on Gravity Falls, but I don't think that's their way of marketing. But there is one big evidence that is pulling my opinion down. We all remember the first promo for Star February, where the images flashed really quick in front of our eyes. And of those pictures flashing, there was the scene from Just Friends, where it seemed like Star Marco would kiss. We all know now that they didn't kiss in Just Friends, but back then it really seemed like they would, especially considering the episode titles Just Friends, Face the Music, and Star Crushed. We also have to reconsider that the promo was released after the events of Bon Bon the Birthday Clown. We got a lot of Jarko moments in that episode and the shippers went crazy. So what would Disney do to catch up on some maybe angry, triggered Starco shippers? Oh yeah! giving the Starco shippers the exact amount of footage to make them go crazy once again for Starco. It was used like a secret weapon, and the guy cutting the promo had pretty clear instructions about what images should be inside the promo. Talking about promos, after the Incredible Battle for Mini TV event, we got a clip from San Diego Comic-Con, showing Star and Tom dancing, or in other words, a total Star and Tom clip. This was a great marketing idea of Disney, to take a ship clip during a hiatus to catch some more viewers until November, so ratings increase on November 6. Of course, there are also joke promos like the In a World promo featuring the newest ship of Starrito. It is pretty obvious that Starrito is meant to be just like Pickle Rick and Rick and Morty, a joke that gets big in time and catches some new viewers. I could go on for hours analyzing the marketing strategies for Disney for Star vs. the Forces of Evil, but then this video would be way too long. And who would actually like to see a person on YouTube talk about marketing strategies for hours? I hope you had fun watching this video. What is your opinion about the whole thing? Is Disney using shippers to gain viewership, or is it just coincidence that Star vs. the Force Evil has so many ships? Tell us in the comments. Besides that, have a nice day, and never forget, I'll never let you go, my little burrito.